Hi, beloved. In the Lord, my name is Emily. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Liam. So glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. If you're just joining and you've not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Please comment, like, share in the name of Jesus. So today when I was praying, I was meditating, God gave me a scripture. And this scripture is going to speak to me and saying that Everything has been going the opposite, contrary to his will, contrary to his laws on the earth. And you see, the earth is fading away. Things are crumbling away. Things are fading away. People are being so confused. People don't even know who they are anymore. People do not even understand what is happening anymore. Like, this is not how it was in the ancient times. People had honored the Lord and followed his instructions, followed his laws. But in this age that we are living in, things are just completely different. People are being kept away from the truth about the laws of God. God going to speak to me about his laws, his universal laws, the laws that he has set before the foundation of the earth. And it seems like a lot of people do not even understand his ways anymore. How is it that we are living in a lawless world whereas there, there are divine laws? How is it that people do not even care anymore on how, on how the, the way they do things and yet they want to see results? People are living life in the opposite direction, yet they want to see results. People are being ignorant of everything, yet they want to see changes in their life, they want to see results. And God said that no, this is what's going on in the world on, on, on all this moment. And because things, everything is in the opposite, because they were teaching people false, because the, the, some people have, you know, hidden, they, they, they have. They have blocked the gate of knowledge, the gate of wisdom, and they feel that it is wisdom belongs only to them, knowledge belongs just for them, and no one else needs to have access to knowledge. He's not happy. The Lord is saying that the Lord is saying that his people are struggling, they are crying, they are mourning because they are finding it so hard to access divine knowledge from him. He had given knowledge. But some people have sat on this knowledge, comfort this knowledge, and just making sure that they give you this knowledge, if and only if you compromise, if they, they will tell you about, expose this knowledge to you, this sacred knowledge to you, this divine knowledge of God to you, if and only if you compromise, if and only if you belong into their groups, if and only if you do this, you do that, but that's not how it was supposed to be. God gave his divine knowledge to everybody, but because of the world, because of the, the, the matrix, because of the world, people have been covered, people have been deprived of knowledge. It's been hard for people to, to access knowledge through higher consciousness. And that's why people perish. The Bible says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. The lack of knowledge didn't just come because it was intentional. The lack of knowledge came because some people decided that they were going to steal knowledge from the world and to keep this knowledge for themselves, that they're going to use the same knowledge to work against the people. They decided that they're going to close this knowledge, going to do things. You know, not how they set up things, beloved. They polluted the atmosphere, polluted the waters, polluted, polluted everything. You know, to bring down the, the, the consciousnesses of God's people so they don't get to access divine knowledge. And because they are unable to access divine knowledge, they will want to be seeking knowledge. And by them seeking knowledge, they're going to be encountering those who aren't good, those who have been keeping the knowledge. And for them to have access to the knowledge, they must have to compromise. Or they must have to be caged. Or they must have to be to be uh, uh, subjected to misery before they could have access to the knowledge, the knowledge of God. Whereas that's not how it's supposed to be so. And that is why the Lord has said the world is being destroyed this moment. 
for lack of knowledge. People are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. And that's why the world is fading away. The world is fading away. Those who thought that they had the divine knowledge of God are all fading away. They are all going away because they can't even make use of the divine knowledge of God that they have stolen from God's people. The earth is crying, groaning, traveling in pain. And the world is asking, where are the people of God? What is going on? Everything has been defiled. People have gone astray. No one even cares anymore. They've been working for the opposite side to make sure that they keep people in lower consciousnesses so they don't get to access divine knowledge. And because they're in lower consciousnesses, they are, they, are, they are in error. They live in error. Because people are in lower consciousnesses, they fall into depression, into confusion, into chaos, into all kinds of things. Because they are trying so hard to find their way out. They are trying so hard to seek wisdom, to seek knowledge, to be able to excel. But some people have kept this knowledge and this wisdom to themselves. And they are using this against God's people. And when God's people go about trying to seek for this knowledge, for this wisdom, for this wisdom they, they encounter these bad people who make sure that they are subjected to certain situations before they could gain access to knowledge. But the end of this is coming in the name of Jesus. The end of this is coming in the name of Jesus. Even as the earth is wasting away according to um, Isaiah uh, 40, uh, 24 verse 4, it says, The earth mourns and fades away. The world languishes and fades away. The, the hearty people of the earth languish. The earth is also defiled under its inhabitants because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinances, broken the uh, everlasting covenant. They have changed the laws of God. They have changed ordinances. They have confused, they have reprogrammed everything on the planet. And that is why the planet is wasting away. And Lord is saying that the earth, the planet has, the earth has to waste away. The planet has to waste away before His new earth comes. Before His His world, you know, before the the, the, the old earth has to, has to shatter before the new earth, you know, rises to be to God. Knowledge has been hidden from people. Why won't they go astray? They have already. They have all gone astray. And the Lord is saying that, let, let, let me take it from, from verse 1, um, Isaiah 42, 24, verse, verse, verse 1 to 3. Behold, the Lord makes the earth empty and makes it waste, distort its surface and scattered abroad its inhabitants. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priests. People have gone away. They have gone astray. The priests have gone astray. With the servants, so the masters. Servants have gone astray. Masters have also gone astray. No one is doing any, doing everything according to God's laws, according to God's will. God's will. No one shall be left, beloved. Hallelujah. As with the maid, so with the mistress. As with the buyer, so with the seller. The buyers are all, you know, they've, they've all gone astray. Sellers have all gone astray. Nobody wants to do things correctly. As with the lenders, so with the borrowers. All of them have all erred. They have all gone astray. Everyone has gone astray. Servants have gone astray. Masters have gone astray. Things have been in opposite. No one is working. No one is moving or operating according to God's divine instructions. According to God's divine laws. Because they are ignorant. Because they lack knowledge. Now, now you see why the earth is crumbling because no one is doing anything right, and they are so to them, they are so right in their own ways. The ways of a foolish man is right, and that's what's going on right now on the planet. The ways of foolish people are right, and God is saying that He can't take this anymore. God was just speaking to me and said that He can't take this anymore. Where are the divine laws of God that are supposed to be taught? 
Where are the divine instructions of God that are supposed to be taught so that people may, may excel, people may live at peace in the land? People are going through sick people experience sickness, depression, and all manner of things because they have been abusing God's law. They have been they have gone out of God's ways, out of they have fallen out of alignment with the laws of God, with the will of God. There are laws, there are principles in the spirit. And if we can't obey these principles in the spirit, there's no way that we can succeed. People are crying of poverty. That's simply because they have gone out of alignment with their heaven from their, from, their, from their heavenly blessings. People are sick because they have gone out of alignment with the heavens. Things are supposed to be done accordingly. How are we aligning ourselves? People have gone out of alignment. This is the, the, God is destroying the earth because or wasting these things away, and he's seeing that people are going out because because the world, people, everyone is working out of alignment. People are not aligning anymore. And that is why we find the world the we we see the world, you know, going the way it is 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 going. Out of alignment. Are people willing right now to get into alignment with the heavenly glories, with the heavenly laws, the heavenly instructions, that things may move smoothly? If not, it's going to be so hard. It's really going to be so hard. And the world is, and the God, and God is now, he's destroyed everything. No one is doing anything right. Look at, just check around you. See the way masters behave, see the way servants behave. Are they all working in alignment? Are they all doing things with, with pure intentions? Are they all, you know, honest in their ways? Check husbands and wives. Are they, you know, alive, in alignment with the heavenly callings? Are they in alignment with the heavenly, you know, instructions on how they ought to serve each other? They have all gone astray. Husbands, husbands don't serve as husbands anymore. Wives don't serve as wives anymore. Buyers don't, 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 uh, don't, don't act as buyers anymore. Sellers don't act as sellers anymore. Masters don't act as masters anymore. Servants don't act as servants anymore. Lenders don't act as lenders. Buyers don't act as buyers. They claim that they are teaching us these things. The world claims, some people claim that they are teaching us how to behave, how to do things right. Yet, they are also in folly. They are also living in error. They are also living in error, beloved. The Lord is saying that this is, listen, it's all going, it's all going away. It's all going away. And God is raising people who are strong enough, who are bold enough to teach his divine laws to the people. So that they may live, continue to live in alignment and manifest the dreams of their lives. Glory be to God. The reason why God is that he's, he, the world is shattering this moment, the world is, is crumbling this moment, is because everything has gone out of alignment with his will. Everything is out of alignment. And for him to restore this, this to restore alignment, he has got to raise some people that will have that boldness to teach the truth, to teach the right way of living, so that they may be able to enjoy a glorious life on earth. Our God is not happy. Glory to God. He is not happy at all. Are you that one that you are ready to, to, to say the truth of who God is? Or how he wants us to understand life? Or how he wants us to live? Of course, God has been raising people. And I see them, beloved. They have been, they have been coming out and I'm speaking the truth of who God is and how he wants us to live. According to the divine principles. Not the ones that they have been teaching us all along in doctrines. We grew to know situations. But it's all, the, all, all what they taught us in the past were all lies. And the Lord is saying that enough. Enough. These people have been crying a lot. It's why I've been, I've been dreaming bad dreams. And these dreams have been orchestrated by those who are the keepers of knowledge, those who are, you know, those who stole knowledge from the people of God. And have been giving them wicked dreams that they may not see the reality of what God is trying to tell them. It's over, beloved. It's all coming, it's all crushing down. God needs to set it straight. His way, his, his will. God needs to teach his people the real, the, 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 the true ways of living, true ways of understanding who he is, the true ways of, of, of operating here on the planet. There are divine laws that we need to know them. 
There are divine principles that we need to apply that we may not fall into things that have been programmed for us by our enslavers. You are blessed by this message this moment. You are blessed by this message this moment. It's all coming down. And the Lord is that He's aligning you this moment with the with the with the with the with divine laws. He's aligning you this moment according to the according to heavenly um, um alignment. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's keep going. See you in the next video.